Science. A study of American soldiers has concluded that a knock on the head makes a person more vulnerable to Alzheimer's disease later in life. The Walter Reed Army Medical Center looked into 250,000 people's medical histories. Dr. Christine Yaffe's team found out what happened to them. We looked at veterans who were 55 or older, and we determined who had had a history of traumatic brain injury, and then we followed them for seven years to see who developed dementia. And what we found was that veterans who had a history of TBI had approximately a two-fold greater, two times increased chance of developing dementia over our study. The findings were discussed at the Alzheimer's Association International Conference this month held in Paris. Others are looking for more evidence before redrawing their conclusions about brain degeneration. Dr. Lori Ryan manages Alzheimer's clinical trials with the U.S. National Institutes of Health. It's a very interesting study and a good first start to look at the medical records, but being retrospective in nature, um, we have to rely on what got put into the hospital records, and often milder injuries do not get noted in hospital records. People may not even go to the hospital for a mild injury, a concussion. And so it's probably not the full picture. What we need are studies going forward looking at individuals when they get injured and following them over time, and those studies are actually, people are looking to do those now. Some experts say Alzheimer's could reach epidemic proportions that 106 million people might suffer from it by 2050 with heavy family and social strains. Other factors which seem to play a role include smoking, obesity, depression, diabetes and blood pressure, also low educational achievement.